Hi guys, how you doing? So welcome back. Uh, today we're going to talk about Badger and uh, I've got to thank uh, Ken and his fantastic staff for sending this over to me. Um, I've been badgering them <laughs> hey, uh, for quite a while uh, about reviewing some of their products uh, because I was really interested in seeing what paints they had and what paints they stocked and also uh, the airbrushes because uh, if you know me I've been using uh, cheap Chinese clones or cheap Chinese airbrushes for quite a while now and I don't have much luck with them um, where a lot of people just you know they work for them and I've just had a really bad time with them so I wanted to try out the badger airbrushes because there's a lot of um, excitement and buzz around these and uh, whenever you talk to someone who's into airbrush and they always talk about you know badger airbrush badger this badger that so I wanted to try it out and lucky enough I have been trying these out and well I've tried this one out so far and this one uh, and I've got to say, amazing. I take my hat off to you, sir. You've created a, a tool that is perfected, uh, is perfected engineering. It's uh, easy to use and it feels comfortable and ergonomic in the hand. So without fluffing them too much, let's go on to the paints first and we'll move back to these airbrushes. Okay, so what we have here is their Badger's uh, Precise Design model, air, uh, model range. And uh, it's a color, a seven color set. And uh, I haven't opened this yet. Um, so I thought we'd do it here because it's always good to do it on camera. Uh, because I like paints that are already mixed for uh, airbrushing. And I feel that I'm gonna be very excited by these. So what have we got first? We have a forest green, um, which looks pretty cool. So I'm going to just open it up to have a quick look in the inside because it's always worth doing. Let's peel that back. Oh, that's a nice colour. That is a lovely colour. So I'm hoping like the rest of these paints are really pre-mixed and ready for airbrushing. I should imagine they would be because uh, Badger are very good like that. Um, we also comes with uh, an olive drab. So this is probably their military range actually. Uh, yeah, airbrush ready colours, which is fantastic. We have European dark green. Uh, and within that you also get... Uh, armoured sand. Oh, this would be really useful. Really useful. Um, field drab as well. And let's just go in. So we've got two more to go. And we also get a medium green FSC. And finally, within that is a camouflage grey. Which looks really nice. That's going to be a nice colour. Okay, so that's those out of the way. Now, I've got to say, really impressed with these. Nice sized pots. Um, that's quite a lot of paint in there as well. Uh, I know they've got a new range of paints coming out. I'm very excited to see those as well. So we'll just put these to the side for now. Very, very nice. Very nice. Okay, then we move on to this. Now, Spectra. I'm not too sure whether this is their own range. I don't think so. I think it's just a colour range that they stock in store. Um, I've been using this now uh, on... Um, the uh, Titans and I've got to say very excited uh, it's an eight color metallic set I won't bother opening this one up yet um, but it comes with a varied amount of prime colors which you can play around with and have some fun very excited about that now these I have been using and I can actually say hand on heart these are actually very very good there's a lot of paint in this uh, which is what I kind of like I, I like the fact that you have an abundance of paint and there's not just little pots. Um, the white I've used on the Titan, which you'll be seeing in a later video. The black I've been using as well. And I've been using the blue on a very little special project, which I'll be showing you very soon. And I've got to say, very excited by it all. Um, lovely watery colours. Didn't have any trouble with them in the airbrush. Uh, didn't have to thin them down. They went straight through and they worked really well. So all in all, very impressed with that. Going to be equally impressed with these and I'll try these ones out I reckon. Ah, now let's move on to the airbrushes. So what have they sent me? They've sent me the Omni 4000 USA. Now it's a gravity feed so it means uh, basically the paint uh, is drawn down from the pot into the brush and out and the action on it is fantastic. Uh, easy to clean out. Didn't have any problems getting in there and cleaning it. Uh, and I mean, look, you just have to, that is fantastic. Uh, I've not had this much control with an airbrush ever. Uh, well, I say that with my own airbrushes at least, because uh, they've been cheap ones, but it really does pay 
it, well, it does pay to pay out for a decent airbrush, um, especially when you see the thing, uh, the work that uh, Marnius can do, um, and you know people like uh, Les and uh, and uh, people like Orc Paint Nerd as well. Anyway, so beautiful airbrush. I've got to say, was very excited by that. Um, this one though is the daddy for me. This is the Spirit. I think it's one of the Patriot ranges. I'm not too sure. Um, typical, can't get the cover off it. Wait there, there we go. Um, but it's got a different sort of needle, uh, I suppose, head to it really. Um, if you can see, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. It's got like two prongs, which is fantastic. Now you can tell I've been using this. Um, I've got to say, really nice. You can adjust everything from the back, uh, which allows you uh, to move the needle back even further. So you can set with settings. If you're left or right-handed, you can take the pot out and swing it around as well uh, by doing that. I like it the other way because uh, I just do basically. I don't know why I've got no preference to it, but God, what a piece of machinery. Uh, the engineering in this is fantastic. Now, if you don't know much about Badger, um, they're a fantastic company. Please go down and check out the link below. Um, absolutely phenomenal. Um, I've been testing this out on a few things now, and I've got to say, by far, this is the most exciting one of the two, even though that's a beautiful brush. It is a beautiful brush. This one I kind of like. I don't know why, because it, maybe it's because it's like a dark metal. And the nice thing about it is, it just pops out like so. So you can put it in there, it locks, and it comes out. Now there's a certain name for this, I don't know what it is. I wouldn't uh, pretend to know straight away, uh, but I've got to say I much prefer this because beforehand I'd have to turn off my airbrush, then I would have to get my next airbrush, uh, my generator, sorry, or air, whatever it's called, uh, and then swap, to, swap them over. But this is just lovely because I can just go boom, there you go, all sorted. So yeah, really happy with this. I've got to say, really excited by all of this. So um, I'm uh, going to be starting my journey with Badger uh, and seeing what I can do with these and how uh, and where I can go with them and explore them more. And I hope you follow me on that journey uh, as I learn tips and tricks from other people that I watch on YouTube. Okay, guys, you take care of yourselves. Uh, go check out the website, absolutely brilliant. And I know you're going to enjoy them. Take care. See you soon.